could get an internet. Meow. Um, we've taken a short break from the last video. It's time to start a new one. And by short break, I mean I actually found Pioneer Tower. Dang it. Let's go say hi to Bob. Feel free to grab anything you need. Sweetie, I, I was just thinking of you. You never knew your grand grand, but she's about the only one like you in my whole family tree. Left home at an early age. Well, ran away, really. Became a UC Marine, if you can believe it. I don't think you ever talked about her. Really? Well, I, I suppose it's ancient history. I only met Grandma a few times. Oh, she was fierce. I swear, her eyes almost glowed. Every time I saw her, she'd drill me on math. If I got her questions correct, she'd give me a treat. Once, I got them all right and answered her bonus question, and she smiled. <laughs> Only time I ever saw her do that. Most formidable woman I have ever met. Sounds like she was tough on you, though. She firmly believed in a solid education. Well, I was going through storage, and I found her old armor. I, I think she'd like you to have it. You have that same thing. You're forging your own path, not just letting life toss you this way and that. I don't know what to say. You deserve it, sweetie. Well, enough of this. I don't want to make a scene. You need anything, sweetie? Grand Grand Space Helmet and Space Suit. You're welcome anytime. It's significantly better, and it has pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have increased carrying capacity, so I'm probably not going to want to wear it. Yeah, pocket is just plus Wait. time, I think. Oh, okay, that explains it. It has pockets. But I might be able to augment it, maybe. Not the helmet. The helmet is actually worse, but it has a sensor array. I was like, Grand Grand was into modding things. Yep. I think I'll still stick with the pirate sniper spacesuit just because carrying capacity is lead over and everything. So the sensor suite increases range on scanning, it looks like. Uh, no, I think it just increases the range you detect enemies on the compass for. Yep, you're right. I just must have a perk in this. I figured it would be years until I saw you again. And here you are. Nice just to here, see Mr. you, Mr. Gray. Tell me, are you doing well? Kinda looks that way. And none of that, I'm fine, Dad. Really, answer. How are you? There's no option to say, I'm fine, Dad, anyway. I've seen a lot of shit, Dad. It's hard not to let it get me down. <laughs> Just so much to see and do. Oh, to be young and have the whole world in front of you. All your adventures. There are so many. It's dizzying to keep track of. It worries your mother that one day you might take on more than you can deal with. Is it worth it? All that risk and danger? Better be worth it. Better be worth no it. No argument here. I got some years on you. My guiding star has always been find something you believe in and fight for it. For me, it's you and your mother. Every time big life decisions came up, that's what made it easy. What would be best for all of us? If you can strip away everything and answer that one question, well, it helped me. Good talk, Dad. It's what I'm here for. It's nice to have you home. Where's their parents? Yes. It's good to have you home. I think maybe my next par character might have parents. Just watch out. There is a known issue with the generation of Dad. 
where depending on what your character, I mean, obviously depending on what your character looks like is what your parents look like. Except certain character types have a very um, distinctive dad that doesn't look like you at all. Oh. That may look a lot like certain racial stereotypes or caricatures. Hmm. But, like, it is very specific looking characters that end up with things like that. Anyway, we have visited our parents. We should uh, drop off the spacesuit for not using it too much. Yeah, I suppose. The spacesuits I are mean, heavy. We're already in New Atlantis, it makes sense to do that. Grand Grand spacesuit is going on to a mannequin at some point. Oh, um, they fixed the bug when it came to mannequins in the last patch. Where if you have a mannequin on a ship and then change ships, it can randomly just not... It just clears out the mannequin. Hmm. Turns out it doesn't actually clear out the mannequin so much as it hides everything that was on the mannequin. Next one. I have so much stuff in this thing that whenever I mouse over it, the game just lags for a second or two. I really think I might want to have Grand Grand's helmet installed, or er, installed, equipped instead. Because it's, it's, it's 15 defense lower, but the resistances are higher, I think. Total of 50, total of 40. Yeah, resistances are higher, mm -hmm. and it has a mod already. Yeah. So, uh, you are going to store that. Did okay. you store the suit? Yes. See? One suit. Mm. That's Might need to separate the cats for a moment. They've been behaving most of the day. Most. So, I know we can go talk to Sam Coey here, but I kind of want to meet Vladimir. What I think we should do is start Sam Coey's quests, but first stop by and talk to Vladimir. But pick up Sam Coey now and head out to Vladimir. Okay. I cannot wait to meet them. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. Oh. I wonder what they're like. Just go easy on them. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll Isn't? limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. Well, this does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional that, little family. Okay. Family, you two related? No. Funny story, caught this one stealing my ship. Only reason I didn't turn her in is because we have the same last name. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's my one. So, you must be Samco, the Free Star Collective expert. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila Moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm going to fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Glad to see someone so young taking an interest in space. It helps to have a good teacher. Dad, don't let it go to your head. <laughs> a compliment from little Cora. Well, it's not even my birthday. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Uh-huh. Only that it was in Free Star Collective Space. Sure enough. That's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontiers are vol. It's rough country. 
Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Anything you want to you know about Attila? Yeah. Don't piss off the Free Star Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Okay. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's going to be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Okay, so his daughter comes with him? Mm-hmm. Okay. I believe she stays on the ship I would when hope so. we're heading out on the mission, but mm -hmm. I haven't actually gone any further than this yet. I had ah. them on my ship, but I haven't gone to Jan on my character. I'm intending this character to be mostly uh, staying in UC territory. Sam. Sam. And I did do a quick glance between recordings to see if there was a mod to make companions follow you further away. And the answer is no. <laughs> Not that I can find. It's probably something that requires the creation kit that they don't have yet for the game. Dad and I will be riding passenger with you. The most boring job in space travel. You dad, you and your dad really go everywhere together? Yep. I've been his co-pilot since I was old enough to read a map. He lets me fly sometimes and fix things aboard and use the intercom and everything. I just have to promise not to complain about having to stay aboard the ship when we're somewhere dangerous. Dad says when I'm older, he'll teach me how to use a pistol. And once I'm a good enough shot, I can go with him anywhere. I can't wait to get older. I was still talking Akeel with you. Akila's a fun place. Just keep your sidearm at the ready is what Dad always says. So Aquila City is based off of Texas. Just to give you all a fair warning. It's the best. I met another kid my age who hadn't been on a starship once. Not even once! Same boring old planet for like years. <laughs> she didn't even know how to replace a phase manifold. Can you imagine? Nope, can't imagine. I read. I look around the ship, but no touching. Dad lets me do all sorts of stuff on his ship. But he said I have to be respectful on your ship. But I could try to fix things if you ask. Hint, hint, you can ask. <laughs> I promise you. I want to fly my own ship and go all over the place. Like you and Dad, really. But hopefully not as crazy as your travels. I thought Dad's were exciting. But yours? Brr. Bye. Hey. Appreciate the lift. But once we touch down in Aquila, we'll talk more. Well, mildly interesting, at least. Here. Nitrofluorides? You need that for your Cheyenne research? What you're looking for. Yes. I was just not expecting the... Oh, here. Have some tetrafluorides. Weird. Yeah, um, I haven't had enough of a... Uh... Oh, I'm done gotten to seeing patterns in gifts yet uh i just switched from the adoring fan to barrett in my game and barrett gives me food and the adoring fan gives you some really weird stuff yeah the toilet paper too is for me but it's giving me like three forks i do it's useful stuff See, the random hirelings that you can grab don't haven't given me any gifts, but at the same time, my other character is a introvert, so I don't go places with my NPCs. So, the eye. The eye. Let's talk to Bloodborne.
Star Station L0868. You need the eye. Yep. Oh, right. <laughs> as long as you're within 500 meters, that's all that matters. All right, Vladimir. What's up with you? Hey, Vasco. Hi. Please disregard. Ooh. I attempted an Your station's fancy. Greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the result. I want to build my own space station. You can do that. No, you can't. That airlock's a little stuffed full. This one is not. But they're both labeled airlock. Oh, it's A01 and B01, okay. Uh, just look around everywhere because I think I found a nice seat. I am almost certain I found a magazine here. What I'm not sure of is if I found two. There's definitely at least one. Reminder, note to self. There was a contamination breach in modules D01 and F01. I blocked the doorways off for now, but I will still need to fix the hull next week. My to-do's list is piling up and cutting into my exercise time. Glad. Okay. Still want to build my own spaceship. Er, uh, space station. I think that would be a lot more fun than an outpost, personally. Ooh, a trauma pack. That's my first. Another ear grub display. Sealant. Good day, Captain. Walkers, he just walked past. Oh, yeah. No. Shooting is not the answer to everything. Not that they really have much of anything to offer. Yeah, it's like I don't remember where I found it. Exercise charts. Vladimir Saul. Taking an exercise, apparently. up the dumbbells. Do not pick up the dumbbells. There's a magazine. Peak performance. Increase in carrying capacity by 5 kilos. Nice. Storage. Spacesuit Workbench and Research Lab. Okay. Toilet? Can you put the vector roll? No. It must just be vector. Stop! Do 30 push ups. Before entering the cafeteria? And why is there so much ammo in the cafeteria? That's a component. This is that. A big space station for one person. Looks like all food. 
including chunks, although I would not expect chunks require refrigeration. And a bunch of cigarettes, apparently. More food. Another toilet room? Yep. And this is blocked off. Sounds like a lot is going to happen there at the later date. Yep. That has all the makings of blocked. Yes, yes, I know you're there. I'm going to your group quarters first. Did not need to pick up the lettuce. What you needed for a bee sandwich. No. A lot of eggs and protein. Completely empty room. Yep, they're all labeled vacant. Don't mind if I grab some money. Storage. You don't store anything I can pick up. That's fine. Also still blocked off. And another bathroom. We'll multi-use up. Nice. We finally found one. I was told that you can flip the toilet paper in some bathrooms, but I kept, kept not finding it anywhere. So it's not all of them, it's just some of them. Well, we found one that we can flip. I take it, you're Vlad. Which means I'm going to ignore you for a bit, don't mind me. I am not seeing another magazine, by the way. I, I don't remember, but I think I found the peak performance my second visit to this place. on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. That's pirate talk, isn't it? Former Crimson Fleet. An old jack o -bones would be the term for it, back in my day. Left that life behind me. Even before I signed up with Constellation, I was retired. That was a space An moment. honest job. No shame in that. Some of us have done far worse. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Someone should have grabbed you. It was incredible. <laughs> Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now... This station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. Sea of Light? No matter how good the scan, it's still just peeking at light. And she only has one speed. Lot of interstellar bodies in the way, too. All that noise makes squaring the circle harder. Only going to be able to give you so many at once. So, I need to check on these leads in person. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. 
Mateo went out recently, but Andreja, it's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but I'm an old man and I'm worried. Who's Andreja? Another rook in constellation who's making a name for herself. Likes to be on her own. I can relate, so I try to look out for her more than most. Hey, okay, I'll keep an eye out for her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. You visit the Lodge often? I make the visit when they need me. Don't mind the loner's life most days, and the eye is important work. But I should make the trip more often. Can't let Walter be the only one tending bar there too long. Everyone will forget what a good drink tastes like. Uh, your artifact search must be a full-time job. That's why I missed your little welcome party. Got caught up plotting all the data the eye can give us. Wouldn't mind the helper's hand, though. Could speed the process along. Up-to-date planetary scans would help filter all the data I have to sift through. Maybe help to find the anomalous bits. And Constellation can slide a credit or two your way. All part of the mission of charting the stars, right? So Vlad is the one that wants planetary scans. Yep. I think that for you. And we're hand in hand in agreement. Now get out there and burn some helium. Ah. Uh, might as well sell him some now. And yeah. the darkness gets lit. Just the candle. Except I don't. Oh, you haven't surveyed it's, any? No, I have. It's. Back you at, left it at the large yeah. because you deposited Dumped all everything. No. Yep. I haven't surveyed a whole bunch, mind you, but I have done it. Usually it doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on. But if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. I drop thought in. I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? Hey. That's a character, got it. Hello, Captain. Everyone in the Constellation is a character. Yep. Sam's reading stuff. It's not readable. Nope. I was just curious. I did that exact, exact same thing <laughs> earlier today. <laughs> okay. So. Aquila City? I think it's time to go to Aquila City. You said you haven't done any further? No, although I watched a streamer do part of it and then I stopped because I'm getting... Uh, I think I'd rather experience this first hand. Okay. Well, I suppose it's time to introduce you all to Aquila City. This time I'm the one with the knowledge instead of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my character hasn't been there yet. So Aquila City is in Cheyenne, obviously named after the place in um, the U.S., Because this is very American theme. Very American theme. This is Free Star Collective Space. Hold while we scan your ship. <laughs> All right, you're good. Welcome to Aquila City. You've been to Aquila City multiple times, though, right? Like the city itself. No. You haven't? I thought it was just Neon that you hadn't been to. Uh, I can't remember if I... I don't think I did. Well, Aquila City is the source of me saying, I don't know who colonized the cosmos, but they had really bad taste. And I don't just mean appearance. I mean they chose heavy gravity worlds. Mm -hmm. And I don't like heavy yeah, gravity no, worlds. Yeah, no, it's like... 
1.52 or something. Yeah. Hello. 151. Yeah. That was close. Why is it telling me to talk to Sam? Okay. Uh, on the ship, apparently. Okay, let's talk to Sam on the ship first. I was expecting he would be out. Apparently not. All right. Good place to make a hard save. Maybe I don't have that mission currently selected? I don't. Okay. That would be why. But I don't make normal saves anywhere near as often as you do. Mostly because I don't really see the point in doing so most of the time. I keep thinking what if I want to go back here. Captain, breathe. Okay. So the main thing is, Aquila the planet is at 1.52 gravity, so I feel like I can't jump very far. 1.51. Or 5.1. And the other thing is that it looks ugly. But that's a personal opinion. Alright, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm going to be riding your tail until this is over. What about Cora? Is she coming? She stays with the ship, usually. Got a few more years to go before I let her swill whiskey in some backwater bar. All right, let's get going. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. Yeah. As in Solomon Co, first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After Planetfall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his senses. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. He said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. So yeah, there's an entire district of Aquila City named after... No. Hence why I knew Sam's connection to things. So why not just use a planet scan to find it? Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers out on the frontier put down. So Solomon Coe's your ancestor? Yeah. And the Coe's have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger-than-life figure if you read the histories, but if you just listen to a few recordings of the man, he was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. Hold on a second. I need to bask in your celebrity status. Uh, okay, okay. Smartass. This is why I don't like bringing it up. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. Ah, that's going to be an interesting situation. Mm -hmm. We gotta get to that vault in Galbank. If you're looking for something in particular... You've got ammo for 50 cal. Your new weapon... Oh, right, I've deposited my weapons. I guess I'll give you an Equinox? I don't want you that close, so I'd rather have you with something with more distance. I think the Equinox has a longer range. Yes. And three kilovolt laser for ammo. You can get one. Yep. Yep. So welcome to Aquila City. Not even the ground is solid. It's a rubble path. And not only is the ground not solid, I mean that in the other sense too, because Bethesda put some of the merchant chests in the puddles where you can access it from standing on the ground. Um. Like, you don't need to toggle clipping or use a exploit to get at it or anything. It's just there. It's still under manufacturer's warranty. Yes. Can I get an invoice? <laughs> what you need one of those for? Corporate policy. Is it okay if I just write it on a notepad? As long as it's written and signed, it could be on a loaf of bread. 
Welcome to the Free Star Collective. They don't care. That might as well be their look. Like, everything. Hey, welcome to Aquila City, established 2167 by Solomon Co. This is also the slowest part of the game. My frame rate is dropping below 40. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. You're Sam Co. Marshall will be damn glad to have another Freestar Ranger helping out. Sam's a Freestar Ranger? Your information is a okay. couple years out of date. So I've done this quest on my other character, but I didn't have Sam with me, obviously. Um. So, what's the trouble? Well, all I know is there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. You'd have to ask the Marshall if you want the whole story. Is Marshall Blake in charge of security? Not usually. But he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw gang. The Marshall's had a lot of experience dealing with the gang, so he's calling the shots. Why are you smiling at the end of every one of your statements? Yeah, this is kind of a serious situation. Yes. I guess that'd be the Marshall's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are going to let us leisurely peruse the Galbang vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. Stay where I can see you, Marshal. Everyone stays in front of the building. You got me? If you think you're building, you're a hostage guy. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust and make sure. Gila City. Feels like I spent half my life trying to get out of this place. So, the hitching post is the bar, except it's brand new, so there's. Very few people drinking here. But you can find the hunter. Well, look who it is. How are the settled systems treating you? <laughs> Make any enemies yet? What are you doing here? Waiting. I do a lot of that these days. But the shortest path to a goal sometimes requires patience. Trying to help as many people as I can, not make any. Choosing to act is what puts you in conflict with others. It's not about how pure the intentions are. Once you start making a real impact on the universe, there's always more and more people who end up on the losing side of your decisions. Someone always gets hurt. I choose to help. Making things better for people. Now you sound like one of the factions. I'm sure both the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective think they're making things better. But that didn't stop them from going to war. I guess that's just the nature of things, isn't it? People start by thinking they're doing the right thing. And then your version of what's right collides with someone else's. Conflict isn't inevitable, though. Peace and trade get brokered just as often as war does. It doesn't last. That's my point. Even if everyone is benefiting, some people are benefiting more than others. And then eventually someone thinks it's time to rebalance the scales. Better to just let people be. A single person achieving their own ends is at least honest. Helping people is just another form of control. That is a garbage argument for garbage oh, there we people. Go again. I was in danger of waxing philosophical last time, and now I'm knee deep in it. I should stop while I'm ahead. I'll catch you around. Yeah, my other character has yet to even meet the hunter. So yeah, uh, the bar has a couple of recruitable people. Rosie Tannehill. And... Well, Omri? Um, yeah, these are the two recruitable people here. Omri um, Hassan, I think, is the one that I recruited. Right? Really? All this commotion. Yes. Things like this never happen in Aquila City. It's been a long time since I saw a new face at the hitching post. 
If you're new to town, you picked an unfortunate first day to visit. So, you'll notice that there's only two skills here. This is more like what everybody else is like. Where they have two skills, one of them's a three power, one of them's one power, and that's about it. That is one way to end a conversation. Sorry, Omri. I've got a bank robbery to deal with. Journey around here is a joke. Going to ever look at me. You need to stand back now. What's going on? It's a hostage situation. Now please get back, or I'll have the guards drag you away. Not here to cause trouble. Well, I'm a little busy right now, so if you don't mind, I need you to hang back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take your badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place. But they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. Shocking? It's a big group that hides outside the city and runs smuggling jobs off-world. They take in all kinds, rookies and veterans alike. Judging by their lack of preparation, I'd say this particular group is green as hell. Probably their first attempt at heist. That should work in our favor. Right about now, they're probably wishing they just stayed home. Must have made some demands by now. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Well, maybe I can talk some sense into them. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see him, and don't try nothing. So, I've done this quest, but without Sam, so all of the conversation back and forth with Sam didn't happen when I did this. You're the negotiator, huh? You think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender? Yeah, you're I'm going wrong. to. Uh, I'd like to know who I'm talking to. What's your name? Uh, it's, it's Jed. Jed Bullock. Good to meet you, Jed. I'm Brainick. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger. How do I know you're going to deal straight with us? I give you my word, Jed. Just want to help. I don't know you. So why should your word mean anything to me? Look, I'm sure you're ready for a change of scenery by now. We can handle being stuck in a bank. But I'm sure you'd rather be somewhere else other than stuck in a bank. Oh, interesting. But talking to me is the only way you're getting out of here alive. Fascinating. So, when I did this with my other character, um, I had to do a persuasion minigame with the Marshal. And the Marshal gave me information that I was able to use here. 
in the mini game. And I didn't get any of that this time. Interesting. I don't know if it's I failed negotiation checks, or maybe I was getting a subtle bonus to them, or just... Well, you could take a gem to... Him. Yeah. Keep in mind, though. Yep. Which I have some. You're the negotiator, huh? You think... I'm going to skip through what I had already done. I am. So tell me straight. I don't know you. Look, I get it. You're not taking chances of who you trust. It's me or nobody. Well, I guess you have a well, point. I take a lot of persuasion too. Yeah, this is nowhere near as high as what I had. Hence the there's something weird going on. I mean, talking to me is the only way you're getting out of here alive. Nothing else? I'm your ticket out of the bank. I'm so ready to get out of here. Don't you just want to get out of there? Yeah. I'm already sick to death of this place. Look, just want to make sure things end the right I... way. I see what you mean. Okay. I can see you're not just the marshal's tool. You want what we want. A nice, happy ending where nobody gets hurt. Let's talk. What's the condition of the hostages? They talk too damn much. Complain about everything. As much as we'd like to, none of us has shot one yet. Tell me your demands. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Hmm. How do I know you'll keep your word? What, you think we want to stay locked up in here? Hell no! Heard tall order. Then persuade the marshal that it ain't. This whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean is simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. I mean, it's not too late to end this peacefully. Well, what if your hostages have families? You really want to deprive their children of their parents? You have to believe me, we never meant to take hostages. I mean, the marshal's gonna keep those hostages safe, whatever it takes. Don't let them go before he has to take- or let him go before he has to take drastic action against you. Sometimes bad things happen to innocent people. That's life. I mean, you let the hostages go, I'm sure- I the... think the other option- hmm? Yeah, that's true. It's up to the marshal no. to make sure the hostages don't get hurt. I should've auto-persuaded. No. Too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. Yeah, I'm reloading. Get that ship ready so we can all walk... This is not the way this went down on my other character for reference. This was a lot easier. Yeah, but I kind of want to see how the other way it goes down. Uh, me going in guns a blazing. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're the negotiator, huh? Oh, I forgot to take the gun up? first. You're the negotiator, huh? You think you're just gonna walk? Uh, well, ain't you polite? So tell me, stranger. <laughs> I don't know. You notice that the choices have already changed mm -hmm. again. You'd rather be somewhere else. Shit. You want to stay Nothing trapped there? You say is my mind, so let's I had more chances on. last time. What the hell? 
I'm getting very confused as to why this is changing so much. Because I'm trying to do the same thing to get at the same spot, and that didn't work. And even using chems, and yep, I haven't quite. Apparently, I haven't figured out how the persuasion mini game works. I think there's a high randomness element to it. Ain't you polite? So tell me straight. <laughs> I don't know you. I guess that's true. I won't lie. I hate being stuck. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. We're real safe. Nothing you say is gonna change. We want a guarantee of safe path. We'll drop the hostages off some. After that, we'll radio back where they... But if anybody follows us when we break orbit... Then persuade them. So let's just... Hmm. What do you mean? Yeah, now the difficulty is significantly higher. There are ticket out of here. So I ain't exactly... Even if one hostage dies, your robbery charge becomes a murder charge. You don't want Damn that to happen. I didn't think of it that way. If you stand down now, the punishment could the still be light. Died. It'll be the marshal's fault for not taking us. No, nah, yeah. it's too late to back it. You go tell the marshal to get. Yeah, I mean, we'll quickly see what this is like, but I did this without any fighting I at all. Every word. Who's talking too loud? Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion. That puts us in a very precarious position. Can I go back and talk to him again? Nah, you'd be wasting your time. Or worse, it'd make them angry. No sense risking that. Must be something more I we can do. I appreciate your idealism. But there were only ever two ways this could end. You've already ruled out one of them, so that leaves us with only one option. Problem is, they're keeping me in the go. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. I mean, not part of the security force. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. I can't deny that you're right, though. Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. Once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. This is nothing we can't handle. Yeah, I don't like the guns of blazing solution to this. It was a lot better going with the other approach. Yeah, I'm going to reload. Nope. That doesn't feel right for this character. Although, this was like a walk in the park for my other character. I'm very confused. I mean, yes, my other character does have a rank in persuasion, but a rank. We don't have an outfit that gives us bonus persuasion. No, that is true. We don't. My other character definitely did. We have a scope point. Yeah, we do. Sure. That and the cam might be enough. Maybe. Yeah, I am. Uh, yeah. Well, ain't you polite? So tell me, stranger. <laughs> I don't know you. Talking to me is the only way you're getting out alive. Maybe you're right. I'm sure you're ready for a change of scenery by now. Down nice and snug in here. Really? 
Just want to make sure things end the right way. Maybe you're right. Okay. Fine. I... I see what you mean. All right. I believe you. It's just looping on the dialogue options. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay, fine. I guess that's true. I basically just okay. said a bunch of meaningless I stuff. Can see you're not just the marshal. Yeah. You want what we want, but let's talk. Can you tab out at this point and save and come back at the same part? Unless you want blood on your hands. Yes, although now he's hostile. We want to guarantee you safe. We'll drop the hostages. After that, we'll radio. But if anybody follows us, then persuade the marshal that it ain't. So let's just. What do you mean? I mean. You don't want anybody to die. And they're innocent bystanders. I stand all their whining and complaining. I just want all of this to be over. I mean, if one hostage dies, your robbery charge is a murder charge. A murder rap. And nobody's been hurt yet. You surrender now, the judge might go easy on you. Maybe you're right. Nobody gets hurt, we won't have to rot in jail for the rest of our lives. Nobody's been hurt, so maybe the judge won't come down too hard on us. Yeah. I think this has gone on long enough. You go tell the marshal we'll come quietly. Apparently the one rank in persuasion was enough. With the way you handled that. Those guys are scared. I can tell. What's the word? over they agreed to come quietly well i'll be a son of an ashta <laughs> how'd you pull it <laughs> i won them over with my irresistible charm ah. well you don't like for confidence well i bet you could sell dirt to a dusty here you've more than earned this you got us out of a tough spot and you did it with courage that's not common as a matter of fact, you might just be Free Star Ranger. This material. is the first quest of the Free Star if Ranger quest line. Head on over to the Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives are on the line, let's get back in Galbag. See if we can get those maps. Shalom, baby. As all of the hostages get released, and then stand here. We'll take it from here. But we need to go to the Galbang Vault. The timer's almost up. Yep. Nice job. I figure we'll stop at that point. So that's the Galbank employee. Singular. I've had quite enough excitement for now. There's a safe. And here's where all of the Chaw Gang are. What? So many people just want to get out of here. They don't talk beyond this though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. The other people will be coming by and doing things. No, I'm not getting deputized yet. I'm empty nest. Oh, it's downstairs. Okay. Yeah, this was not open before, which All makes right. sense. The family has a few different deposit boxes, security in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Don't mind me. Okay, now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. Nope, for Sam. Read it. I'm going to. Sam, I know you and your friends were going to come plunder your heritage at some point. You want those maps? You know where to find me. Jacob. 
and everything else is garbage. Yep. I'm fine, sure. Yep. We're just going to finish in Galbank. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. Who's Jacob? Why did he take the map? He's just a bitter old man. Interfering in what's none of his business. I'm walking into drama. This is the part where I walk into drama. Be like this the whole way. Damn it. I was hoping to avoid the estate. Cora's gonna be so mad. Sam, level me with me here. Who's Jacob? We really gotta do this. We're going to the estate anyway. I'm going to find You're out. Wrong. And we can't work together if you don't trust me. I know, it's just personal all right fine he's my dad okay we're not exactly on friendly terms he probably figured i'd come for the mats at some point got ahead of me family business just wasn't something i wanted to get into you know i love the fact that he was reluctant for uh, to admit that but he liked the fact that i persuaded him mm. uh what about cora being your dad good long? Oh, God, that's the worst part. They're thick as thieves. Last thing I need is Jacob in her life. Let's leave it at that. I mean, you say that, but you brought us here. You brought Cora. One thing's got nothing to do with the other. Ooh, just like that. for a quick in and out. No muss, no fuss. Turns out my luck didn't hold. Listen, there's going to be a whole lot more of this ahead if I need to talk to my old man, so... I'll try, but... And this is where we're going to end. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.